has started. I want this to be a pretty transparent glaze mixture. All right, because we want our glazing medium to dry rather quickly as we put it on. And I also want you to have on hand the base coat color that we used on our furniture along with some white paint. And this can be either latex, flat, or enamel. And then we're ready to get started. And we're going to begin by taking our glaze mixture. What I want you to do is rub it in along the edges and in the crevice areas. All right, and then simply glide across with your sponge. And then we're going to do this all the way around the perimeter. Brush it in the crevices and wipe it off with the sponge. And then when we get to the center area, I want you to lightly brush some on the exterior or the outer areas. And then simply rub it into the surface. Also remember to go with the grain of the wood. So again, we're just brushing the color into the edges, wiping it off, and then rubbing it over the surface, moving in one direction, brushing the color into the grain, or the edges, wiping it off, it's actually quite simple. And again, don't worry if you have dark spots or if it looks sloppy because we're going to clean this up as we move along. And spindle areas are a lot of fun. You simply brush on the glaze mixture. Hi, my name is Barbara Worden and I apologize for this short clip, but this is just a sample of what you're going to find on the full length Furniture Fun DVD on my website. And on that DVD, I have a jam-packed DVD of all different demonstrations of different types of furniture from wall cabinets that can be translated into refacing a kitchen cabinet to um, freestanding furniture and a variety of finishes. It's just a really popular DVD. There's a lot of information there and I make it really easy for you to learn. And not only that, the materials are really easy to find too. So go ahead, go on over to my website fofun.com or follow the link in the description down below and don't forget to check out the specials page. You'll be glad you did.